I'm gonna start this episode with the end of the race. I love Cologne. Ich liebe Köln. Willkommen in Köln! Welcome to Cologne! We are starting the 20th edition of the Köln Marathon! Deutsch Köln Messe, the train station in Köln! Lots of people here! A great energy at the start! We're heading from the east of the city to the west of the city! We're going to the old city! And we're gonna discover this amazing city in Germany. I'm Radu, and you're watching Discover the World through its marathons live from Cologne. So at the first kilometer, we're crossing the Deutz Bridge over the Rhine River, which is a great place in Cologne. Two days ago, I spent two hours on the shore of the Rhine watching the sunset Hello. in Hello watching the sunset in Cologne, it was a magnificent view. It's an ideal place for runners and people who want to do sport on the shore of this amazing river. Back to the Deutsch Bridge, this was, the, uh, was a bridge, a self-anchored bridge uh, built here in Germany and it has the name of the second president ever in Germany. I want to show you the tastiest place in Cologne. It's called the Museum of Chocolate, Chocolade Museum. It's right over here and it has a lot of history regarding chocolate, but most of it, it has tons of chocolate. And this is the place where you should go after the marathon and have a wonderful treat. We reached the Rheinauhafen, the Rhine Harbor established in 1880 and you can see all of these amazing buildings they are part and all of that part of the city is part of a regeneration project of cologne and the second building shaped as an l as this one and that one are award-winning in architecture very nice sightseeing places on the shore of the rhine here in cologne such a nice atmosphere here in cologne thousands of people are celebrating this marathon race Germany, and we have the gallery over here. Woo! A few meters away from the track, you will find that the fifth kilometer in the race, the Bayenthal Monument. This is a monument dedicated to the first chancellor of Germany, Otto von Bismarck. So nice to see so many kids participating in the relay race. This means kids in Germany do a lot of sports and this is very good. Running in Köln will offer you this kind of places. Narrow streets, wonderful atmosphere from the supporters. Eight kilometers so far and we are heading to the center of the city, to the heart of Köln. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam, bam. Seven pages of script for this episode, so many interesting things in Cologne that we want to tell you about during this race. First rainy episode so far, but the warm people here in Köln make out of this atmosphere such a warm race! kilometers so far behind us Universitat zu Köln it looks like a big campus and it's a very peaceful area 
It's these people that bring their cars, put music on, that make a marathon so happy and enjoyable. Is it time for a barbecue during the marathon? <laughs> what are you preparing here, guys? Burgers. Burgers. Oh, wonderful. So they're having a party around 12 afternoon. Enjoy your burgers and your beers. What's up, What? I would take a sip of this. Is kelp? Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. Of course. Right. Okay. <laughs> cheers. Come on. Cheers. cheers. <laughs> nice meeting you guys. Oh, this is very fresh and good beer. No, I cannot drink that much. Thank you. Have a good meal. Bye, boys. After watching this episode, we invite you to take a look at the episodes we did in Berlin, Bucharest, Beijing, Vienna, Athens, Dujnat, and Retrozat, Sky Race in Romania. Seven episodes so far. Check them on 321 Sport Channel on YouTube. the track you will find the Aachen pond a lake a beautiful lake in the middle of the city where during the summer tons of celebrations happen here people drink Kölsch they listen to great music and they have fun now it's more quiet because it's a little bit cold outside but this is a very fun place to spend an evening during the summer what people stole so far uh, they all claim to have stolen my heart your heart yes okay so yes. So you're in love with so many people? Yeah, I'm running after them as soon as they're gone. <laughs> Congratulations, great support. We are in Rudolfplatz, a place that the marathon crosses three times. This is the place where the winter ferry happens in Cologne. And it's like a magical story every Christmas over here. Supporters, again, amazing! Finally, some sun in Cologne. It feels so warm. And now the last one is now. He schafft das. 23 kilometers so far. We're in the district of Ehrenfeld. Uh, this is a very lively part of the city, full of pubs, uh, bars, and other places where you can spend a great time. The television tower in Köln. Oh wait, it's up there. We reached a very nice part of the city with water, with tall buildings and a great atmosphere. Cologne, it's such a beautiful city and I'm so happy to run its marathon. We are now on Neusche Strasse, which is a very Cologne look-alike street. Everything is like in autumn style and you will find a lot of friendly people on the track supporting the runners. Music over there, great atmosphere, just a little bit too cold, it was rainy before, but now it's stopped and the weather is pretty good, you need to run continuously so you don't get too cold. Music here, the volunteers also are doing a great job. Nothing compares to some Coca-Cola after 35 kilometers of running. This is pure heaven. Thank you. So I met this young fellow on the road. Today is his birthday. How old are you? Uh, I got 16 today. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. And you're celebrating by running the marathon. Yeah, the first time. The first marathon at 16 years old. I think this is a great thing. Uh, he's a good example for the young generation to start running and do sports. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so nice that I met you. <laughs> Congratulations for the race Thank and good you. luck. Thank you. Whoa, great. What I should tell you about this race is that I'm running with the Zucconi Kimbara 7 Special Köln Marathon Edition. It's this shoe. Uh, it has been created especially for this marathon. They made 1,111 pairs. But you know why? Because they want to symbolize the most important carnival of Cologne, which happen happens on 11.11, .11, 11th of November, and the celebration starts 
at 11 in the morning and 11 minutes. It's a huge celebration in Cologne and the city is all happy with music, theater, culture and everything else. So this is the special edition shoe of the Cologne Marathon. Oh, I wanted to show it to you better. This is it, the Sukoni Kinvara 7 that you'll later see in a 3 to 1 sport review, runner to runner review. It's a very nice shoe in the colors of Germany and it's very nice to have your own shoe for the marathon. Congratulations for a very special shoe. The parks in the city of Cologne are very nice. This is a small green area right next to the track which is over there which you can enjoy during the race and if you feel pretty pretty tired you can just sit on a bench and breathe for two seconds and then go back on the track can you imagine that this beautiful city that you can see was almost completely destroyed in the second world war they built it again and they built it so well it looks amazing ladies and gentlemen column we are in the heart of the shopping district in Köln, the biggest in Germany, full of shops and always full of people. This is the fantastic cathedral from Köln. 20,000 people visit this place every day. It's such an amazing place, full of history. Its building started in 1248, it was finished in 1880, but it is Truly magnificent! This is the best place in Köln, the Köln Cathedral. Now heading for the finish. This race has been here at the finish of the Köln Marathon. said that you are going to find something really nice at the end. I thought it's about the cathedral, but no, it's about the food also. Uh, they have a rich selection of food over here that you can eat exactly after the marathon. It's unfortunate and a lot of good things over here. This stuff is so, so delicious. This is a big prize after the race. Mm. Yeah. German style food, so good. For this, I'll run the marathon again. <laughs> so, after the race, the Kölsch, Kölsch, natural beer, the best over here. Cheers, Bruce! <laughs> ah. This is a true medal after the marathon. Conclusions after the Köln Marathon 20th edition in 2016. This is an amazing race with really good supporters. You can feel the warmth of the people on the track. You will pass next to the most important uh, parts of the city in Köln. And also you will finish here at the Köln Cathedral, which is an absolutely amazing place. Uh, I would like to thank to the German National Tourism Board for helping out with this episode. When you are in Köln, you should go over there to the Köln Tourism Office and they will let you know what you can do here. Even if you have only one day or two days, you can do a lot of interesting stuff over here. Also, I would like to thank to the technical partners Garmin and World Class Romania and also Sukoni Germany for uh, these shoes, the special edition Sukoni Kinvara 7 for the Kelm Marathon. I'm Radu, this was the Discover the World Through its Marathons episode from Köln, Germany. Cheers! Very, very short. Why should you visit Cologne? Because of the marathon, because of the amazing people, the great food, 
the cultural diversity, the dome, the sunset that you can see from the other side of the Rhine and so many other things. Visit Cologne, spend a few days here and be amazed with this city. If you are stepping on the red carpet, you reach the Köln Marathon Sport Expo, a very nice location in the outskirts of the city, uh, which provides the runners with all the necessary info about the race. So after Beijing, where the international runners were not allowed to enter the raffles if they wouldn't have installed the WeChat application, I'm happy to be in Köln, where I can join any raffle. So everything I didn't do in Beijing, I will do it. I'll do over here. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Nothing, or is it? Uh, <laughs> what is this? Oh, wonderful! Thank you very much. <laughs> I would start talking, but I'm afraid that I will make a bite of this machine. And then Five hours later, I'm leaving the Sport Expo. That means that the Köln Marathon Expo is a really pleasant experience where you can find tons of great advice, uh, wonderful people that can guide you, choose your best equipment, and of course, running shoes.